What is in the electric home? As Mike said, it comes down to the way we heat our water, the way we heat our spaces, the way we cook our food, the way we get around, and then adding two new appliances to every home, solar and batteries. So let's step through each of these machines and talk about why there's such a better alternative available for them now and how we get to a figure like $4,000 of savings every year for the average home. And it's because we layer these savings on top of each other. Savings like if you were to move from a gas water heater, and there's two different ones on the left there depending on how your home is wired to get water heating, all the way to the electric home on the right. And we have this one here where you are just powering your hot water heat pump off of the grid and this one here, where you are powering it off your rooftop solar and the grid, you will see savings somewhere in the range of $7,000 over the course of that machine's lifetime, about 15 years. And we add on savings from this heat pump as well. Again, gas on the left-hand side, all the way to solar on the right, or uh, just off the grid on the one next to the right. And you see savings somewhere in the range for the average home over 15 years of about $15,000. The biggest ticket item of all of these machines is the way that we get around. And that is simply because, and you will know this from driving past the fuel pump, petrol prices are just so extraordinary. What you'll see though, is if you jump from a fossil fuel car and you're powering your vehicle off of that petrol or off of that diesel, the price to fill up that car drops significantly. 